Hello boys and girls, my name is Adnan and I'm the product lead for Log Agent and Logs integrations here at Semitext. I've been heavily focused on website performance and that's why I absolutely love Google Lighthouse. But today I want to show you something cooler. We have built Synthetics. It lets you monitor website and API performance and uptime. Let me show you. After signing up, you go to the Synthetics page and to the apps, create a new Synthetics apps. And here you can say, let's call it prod bar. Once you have a app, you need to create a monitor. Let's first create an HTTP monitor. Now, uh, when you're creating an HTTP monitor, you need to give it a name, let's say HTTP bar one, and you need to uh, type in a website you want to monitor. Let's just try github.com. Next, you need to choose a, re choose a region. It can be, let's say, Virginia and Ireland, and let's say Sydney. Once you have the region, you can configure the request parameters. Now you can have either header, uh, custom header, uh, query parameters, a body, some cookies. But for now, let's just skip all of that. Next, you need to configure the alerts. Now here, this works by setting conditions. And if these conditions fail, then you will get alerted. You can also set custom notifications and you can also set a custom schedule. But for now, let's just test this, uh, this monitor and see if it works. Okay, so the test went fine. It all passed, so let's go ahead and create it. Now, if you open up your monitor, you can see an overview of all of your runs or you can go into runs and see them individually. Now, to test this, you can go ahead and run the, run the test right away. Let's say we want to run it from Ireland and this will trigger your monitor manually. And here we go. Awesome. In the run section, if you go here again, you will see all of the runs you had so far. Now, with this out of the way, let me show you something even cooler. We have uh, the browser monitor as well. So let's go back to the app and let's create a new monitor, but this time let's pick the browser monitor and let's give it a name. Now this can be, let's say browser bar one. Then you pick the region, let's say Virginia and Ireland, and once again, and go continue. Now, uh, next you need to configure the script. And in this script, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Um, for simplicity, let's just say that we want to go to a page and let's just add GitHub once again. But uh, if you want to do something more complicated, we have examples of loading web pages, navigating to pages, doing searches. So this is super, super cool if you want to do something more complicated. But for now, let's just do uh, page load for github.com. Next, you can configure the alerts and they work in the same way as they did for the HTTP monitor. Then go ahead and test it and see if it works. Once it's finished running, you see the conditions were met. You can see the resources and you can see the screenshot. This makes it really easy to visually inspect if something is broken and if the run fails. Now you can go ahead and cre click create. And again, you'll see the monitors overview. Go ahead and open the browse monitor. And again, you can see the overview, you can see runs and you can see resources. The overview shows general uh, availability info uh, the run section is the same for the HTTP monitor. And then you can open up the resources to see detailed metrics and info about all of the resources for these runs. Now I want to go back to show you a overview for failed runs. Now, if you have an app and you have a monitor that's failing, you're going to have a quick filter for failed runs as well. So this is easy for you if you want to do debugging. Of course, these alerts are also visible in the alert section in Semitext, where you can quickly and easily see what failed and how, fa how it failed. Now, 
that's it. That's a quick overview of Semantex Synthetics. I hope you enjoy using this as, a, as much as I already do. And if you do like it, you can go ahead and invite your friends as well. If not, feel free to share this with your friends on social media. Until next time, stay curious, guys.